So pancreatitis basically is inflammation of the pancreas. And there's a couple different reasons for why you get inflammation of the pancreas. The most common is gallstone pancreatitis. And what that is is what a gallstone slips out of the gall bladder and gets lodged in the duct that drains both the gallbladder and the pancreas. And that back pressure from that obstructing stone causes inflammation within that pancreas and can cause nausea, vomiting, and pain. And the pain can be fairly severe and the illness can be actually fairly severe as well. The other next common cause of acute pancreatitis is alcohol consumption. A lot of alcoholics can cause inflammation of um, the pancreas and cause pain and can progress to chronic pancreatitis where they have chronic abdominal pain um, and have nutritional deficiencies and may develop diabetes. Our pancreas is a very delicate organ and we try to protect it by not exposing it to too many toxins such as alcohol or any environmental toxins as well. So the pancreas has two roles. One is the exocrine function and one is the endocrine function. The endocrine function is basically forming um, insulin to help in the management of our blood sugars. Any failure within the endocrine pancreas can cause diabetes. The exocrine pancreas is basically the hormones that are secreted from the pancreas that help to digest fats and help with digestion in general. So the enzymes that are produced by the pancreas are lipase and amylase, and that helps with digestion of carbohydrates.